Hello, hello, this is Michelle with Michelle on Point. And today we're gonna to talk about how to change the background picture for your LinkedIn profile. All right, so let's jump in. Why would you want to change the background picture of your LinkedIn profile? Is there any reason why you would wanna do that? Well, when people come to your profile, you want to have something a little fun, a little, maybe something to tell them about what you do so that it piques their interest before they read your, your profile. Cause maybe they might not decide to look at your page and read your whole bio, but if you have something interesting in your, um, header photo, your background cover photo, maybe if you have something good there, they might say, hmm, all right, I want to read more about this person. So today I'm going to show you the easy way to change and um, make a background picture for your LinkedIn. <clears throat> so I just recently updated mine and I think it turned out really good. Um, you can let me know what you think. It took me maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes to design the whole thing. And so for 20 minutes, you can have a pretty cute background picture and you don't even have to have Photoshop skills. That's the cool thing about this. I'm going to show you how to do it in a cool app that I like to use called Canva. And most of the time Canva is free unless you choose to use some of their little um, paid um, icons or pictures. And if you pay, it's like a dollar, you know, per picture. So you can make a full design for just a few dollars sometimes with Canva. So let me show you what I did. Um, let's see here. How do I get into that other screen for you? All right. So if you log into Canva and you go to um, create a design, scroll down to social media and email headers. And look, they have all these different ones, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, YouTube channel, Twitter, Google, Etsy shop, all these things. Scroll over to LinkedIn banner. If you click on that, it's going to take you to um, the page where you can create a LinkedIn banner. It's already going to be sized for you pretty close to what it should be on LinkedIn. Now, I personally found that I had to shrink everything in just a little bit once I made it. When I uploaded it to LinkedIn, I didn't love the, the size of it. And I also found that my picture, since the picture goes on the left-hand side, right here, um, I needed to move things up just a little bit so that it wouldn't get into in the way of the picture. So I tweaked it a couple times before I came up with the finished result. But just so you know, um, so if you if you get the template for um, for the LinkedIn background, just pull it in a little bit on the edges. So see where I have um, it's a little bit from the top and it's a little bit in from the sides on um, both of them. The bottom edge is good but it's a little bit shorter than the dimensions they have here. So you might want to just play with it a little bit, but it's really close anyway. So all I did was I just grabbed some here. I'll show you what I did. So you come over here to text, you click on add a heading and you just start typing. And so I put in SEO and then I highlighted it and I went up here and I picked a font and I made it a little bit bigger. I think I made it a little bit bigger than that. Let's see. There we go. So there we go. I did that. And then I got a new one. And I wrote expert. And then I changed the font to this and I changed the color to this. 
And I think I changed the size too. Let me fix that. All right. So it's not going to be exact, but you see what I did. Then <coughs> grab another one. And I put the and sign. And we're going to go over here and we're going to grab this font. I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to get another one. I'm going to say web. Web designer. Stretch that out a little bit. Looky there. Now we're going to change the font to, which one did I have? Maybe this one. And then I change the color. I'm going to grab another one. Now what I did was I tilted this just a little bit and I shrunk it too. So let me shrink this down a tad. And then you toggle this right here and you can turn it. So let's move everything over just a little bit. So we have room to do this again. And that's what I did. But then I changed the font because I thought this was really cute. Look at this one. It was called Emily's Candy. There we go. You can kind of tweak it however you want. Then <clears throat> I went to elements and I grabbed a star. I think it was in shapes. Yeah. I grabbed the star and I changed the color to blue. I shrunk it down and I put it right there. And then I moved it to the back. Let me move my face a little bit. There. All right. And then let me go back over to text. I grab this one and I put it in all caps. And I said, connect with me. And then I added, I just went to, I searched up YouTube. And I like this one, so I put this one here. And I did the same thing for these. Now, if I wanted to, I could just copy that. Oops, darn. <laughs> I was trying to copy that one individual thing. I didn't mean to do that. All right. So when you're searching over here, you just put in Facebook icon and they'll come up. I wanted one that looked hand drawn. I was looking for the ones that were a little bit more, I don't know, whimsical. So I grabbed that one and then I did the same thing with Twitter. And I found this one, where is it? This one, I like that one. I thought it was cute. Shrink it down. And it needs to get a little smaller. See how this kind of tells you if you're lined up? I really like that. It'll let you know if you've got it centered. See that line that appears there? And then Instagram. There it is. There. It's not the same exact thing. Oops. It's not the same exact as we had before, but then all you have to do when you're ready to download this is you click download and you can download different formats if you want it to be a JPEG, a PNG, a PDF, um, or if you want it to be for print. With print, it will actually um, 
put the the print lines on it for you. Let me show you the crop marks. Oh, I guess it's not going to show you, but anyway, you can do that. So then you just download it and let me show you what you do. Once you get this made, you download it and save it to your downloads and then go back into your LinkedIn and I will be right back to get you into LinkedIn. I have to switch screens here. I'm back. Okay. So when you're in LinkedIn, you clicked on, you click on me and you click on view profile. And then when that comes up, oops, you click edit and then up here, there's another edit button right there. When you click edit, it's going to give you the option to upload a photo and then you just click change photo, you upload it, you zoom it in to exactly where you want it. You can, you can straighten it, you can rotate it, you can zoom it in as much as you want. Then you click apply. And after you do that, you have your new background for your LinkedIn and that's how you do it. It really doesn't take that long, but it's so worth it because look, it makes your profile just look so much more intriguing. And I think people are gonna wanna connect with me more now that they know what I do without having to read my bio. So if you have any other questions about LinkedIn, I'd love to answer them for you. And I'll do a couple more tutorials on optimizing your LinkedIn coming soon, but just wanted to share that with you. And if you like this, put a little comment in the comments below that you liked it and be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have more tips and tricks like this coming soon. Talk soon, have a great day.